A while ago I made a video on the error message in front of us about how to fix it with a Windows uh, CD and whatnot. And I've had a lot of people saying that uh, they haven't got Windows CD and whatnot. So what I've done is going to make another video to show you how to fix this problem with a CD called Ultimate Boot CD for Win. Okay, so you need to download that Ultimate Boot CD for Win. I will put the description in my link. You've also got videos there that I've showed you how to create one of these files. Okay, so there's a couple of things you're going to need. You're going to need to make sure you've got the CD already. That's for one. And two, you're going to need to make sure that you've got uh, restore points on your system. Otherwise, you ain't going to be able to repair it. Okay, so let's start and get a uh, uh, virtual machine booted up. So here you've got a machine that's booted in. I've got a virtual machine booted up to this Ultimate Boot CD for Win. This is what it's going to look like once it's booted up. Now this machine is not working. Okay, so what you're seeing is a pre-installed environment. So what we've done is we've boot to the CD and this gives us this Ultimate Boot CD uh, Windows look. It's actually got all the tools that I need to fix it. So the first place I want to go is my computer and this shows me the actual C drive of my machine that's not working. So this is the C drive of the machine that's not booting up. Okay, So I need to come in here and I need to make an actual uh, folder for a, a temporary backup so we're going to call this temp backup and I'm going to actually come into my windows uh, so first thing I want to do first is go tools folder options and I want to actually show hidden files so I want to take away this tick hide protected operating system files okay and click yes for that apply okay now we can see all our uh, operating system files so what I want to do next is go to Windows, System32, and I want to come down to Config if I can find it. My old eyesight's gone, there it is. So I want to come in here, and these are the files that I want to back up. I want to back up the default, SAM, Security, Software, and System. Five files that I need to back up, okay? So I want because I'm going to be replacing these. So first thing I want to do is a uh, be a bit slow because it's on a virtual machine. So I'm going to cut these, come back to my temp file folder, sorry, in there, and paste. So that's then backed up in that temporary folder. Now we've got no files in that config folder. The next place I want to go is this system volume information. This is in your C root directory, okay? Now normally this is a protected file where you can't go in but because we're in a pre-installed environment I can actually access this folder. So what you need to make sure you've got is your restore points. So as you can see you'll have RP1, RP0. Now you may have a lot of these in here which is good. So you want to get the second one before it crashed. So in this case I haven't got many because it's a virtual machine but if you've got like say 100, 80, whatever you go to the one before the system crash so if it's 33 you've got you want to go to 32 okay or or one before that it's up to you but as long as you don't go too far back so I'm going to pick this one and then go snapshot I need to go into my snapshot folder and now you can see all these registry files okay so the ones I need are Sam security software system and default I need these ones here okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy these come back to the location the config folder okay so go back to Windows and system 32 then config and now I need to put these files inside here okay so now you can see we have these files in here now I'm just gonna make that a little bit wider so you can actually see now what you need to do now is rename these files so I'm gonna actually just take off the beginning part okay because this is what we need to do so I'm just gonna actually just take this back like so once we've got that back the software there we go and 
this one system now bear in mind these are going to be different to the ones that you've taken out but as you can see I've now made these exactly as the ones we've taken out so what we can do now is come out of this and reboot the system now hopefully once we reboot the system the system should boot so I'm going to take my CD out reboot the system I just need to reboot I'm just gonna let's turn this off okay let me just come out of here restart and hopefully we should have a Windows XP that boots up without any problems there you go one problem solved and that's how you fix a corrupt registry now you can do this as long as you've got remember the two key things really you must have restore points okay and you must have um, uh, you must have restore points is the first thing and you must have the ultimate boot CD for win to actually do it okay if you haven't got that and your PC's buggered and you can't make the CD then you're not going to be able to do it anyway okay so they're the key things that you need to fix this problem okay so hopefully the people that have had the same issues and keep messaging me saying I haven't got a Windows XP CD I haven't got this I haven't got that that's how you fix the issue without a Windows XP CD okay so I hope this answers all your questions. Thanks very much for watching. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy my videos, please rate and subscribe for my videos. If you've got any problems, please get over to my uh, forums, post your questions on there or any video requests, and I'll do my best to make them for you. Thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for your support. Bye for now.